All right, everybody, welcome back to Let's Play in Bayview. In <laughs> never mind. We're playing this game. It's called something I can't pronounce today. Apparently, <laughs> oh god. Never mind. Um, Vortigern just died. Our faithful king was ruled over us for generations. The mastermind of Britannia's conversion to paganism is, is sadly no more. And our, awkwardly enough, our current faction leader is a Christian, which is going to cause unrest in every single one of our cities, unfortunately. Um, but there's nothing we can do about that, because Vortimer is a Christian as well. So, um, currently, the current heir is Cadell, Vort uh, Vortimer's son. Who it do, he who is a pagan? So eventually the the royal dynasty will become pagan. But um, yeah, until then we're just gonna have to deal with the extra unrest. Um, see if if this was real life and not a total war game, Madran would probably start trying to convert everything back to Christianity now and spend a lifetime wasting wasting just money and stuff on that. But uh, we're not gonna do that because we're playing to win. We're not role playing, especially. Good grief, role playing in in barbarian invasion. Uh, that would lead you to ruin pretty sharpish, to be honest. Anyway, so, um... Whoa! No way! That's awesome! We're apparently the most advanced faction in the world. How the hell did I manage to turn the Romano-British into the world's most advanced faction? That's ridiculous. Uh, let's get up the other factions. West Rome, Constantini... They're actually below us, bless them. Um, East Rome, right? Overall ranking, but way at the bottom. Military ranking, bottom. Production ranking, we're actually higher. That will put the Franks on there as well. Um, territorial ranking, bottom. Financial ranking, like third. Pro population ranking, we're so steadily rising, and like everyone else, who seems to be going down. And overall, yeah, I don't know what most advanced faction is then in that case, but yeah, apparently we're the most advanced faction, despite the fact that we're not top in anything. Um, yeah, Madrun is the new faction leader. Long live the king, etc. And the Berbers and Vandals have an alliance, apparently. Fascinating. Right, Senianus, do what you do best. Kill them all! Right, Admiral, no, sorry, Captain Rickguard, his 162 Sayolas, Etelgis and his bodyguard, and Harylfus and his bodyguard. So, okay, here we go. Saxons are probably like, what the hell? So yeah, I think we gave them a bit of a surprise. So, uh, let's go, let's do this. Let's pillage this damn settlement and then run for the hills. Well, technically speaking, run for the boats, but you know. We're so ahead of our time. We're the, we're, we're the Vikings, but in reverse. It's lovely. Let us offer prayers to the gods for victory, and then let us arm ourselves to the teeth. Just in case the gods aren't listening. <laughs> Fair enough. Brave Romans, prepare to defend yourselves! Brave Vikings, I mean Romans, I mean Britons. Let's do this. Um, okay, so yeah, our entire army is pretty much composed of pedites. Because they're bet way, way better than militaries, at least when it comes to facing up against Saxon troops. Um, so that's what I went with for this army. Let's get them all lined up here. Uh, put the ballistas in front of them. Fleet sailors, you can stand there, I guess. Cavalry. You're kind of useless, really, but I guess we can stand you a bit closer there. Our horse archers, you can stand over here. And, um, is that everyone? I think it's everyone. It is everyone. Good. Is that Sanianus? Yeah, there he is. He's apparently got a promotion as well, because he's got a new uniform. He was dressed as a captain last time we saw him, but uh, now he's a... 
now he's a um, you know he's a he's a proper dude. So I don't know how that works, but anyway. Um. Right, let's do this. The enemy have brought up more men. Smash down that gate. There he goes. Can we get a hit? Yes, we got some hits. There were also no sound effects for some reason. But we damaged the gates by like 50% almost, so that was pretty awesome. We could probably knock down the, the walls with these things if we wanted to. Smash, that's almost gone. Sweet. So what do we got? The Seolas are hanging around up here in the town square. Instead of trying to defend the gates, it's probably a wise move. Oh, I tell you why there's no sound. It's because I think I disabled the sound effects by accident there. Now what they shoot now? No, okay, no, I didn't disable the sound effects. Right, that's weird. There's just no sound over there for some reason. Never had that particular bug happen before, right? You guys stop shooting the empty gate. I don't know why you're doing that. Just shoot the tower instead. Anyway, yeah, so where is... Where is Chums? Alright, we've got a band of these guys, I forget what they're called, over here. And... Where are they? Over here? Yeah. There's a troop of these fellas as well over here. So... I kind of almost don't know why I bothered to do this battle manually rather than auto-resolving, but what the heck, I just kind of felt like seeing all this crap on the battle map, I guess. It's pretty impressive, after all. I know what we can do. I knew I brought you guys along for a reason. Um, where are they coming from? Let's see if we can send you guys there. Mm -mm. It's not spread out quite so much. Send you over there. Then send you up here. And then you can go shoot those other guys full of arrows, hopefully before they manage to get inside the walls. Meanwhile, have you smashed that tower down yet? Yeah, you have. Good. And um, that caused the wall to go really strange. <laughs> uh, okay, whatever. Get marching. Ballistas, yeah, you're not firing at will, good. And why are you guys marching so slowly? I have no idea, but you are anyway, so... The reason I'm going so wide around here is just because of these stupid towers. I don't want to get my uh, Alan shot at by those, so... Um... Right, yeah, these guys are going to make it inside, unfortunately. But maybe we can take out these guys. Sure, in hindsight means I probably should have gone around the other way, but never mind. Hurry up. Come on. You're not very fast, are you, really, for horse archers, honestly? Whatever. It's a secondary concern. I'm going to speed up time here. Waste as little time on this as possible frankly, because it's a pretty unconsequential battle at the end of the day. Well, the, I suppose winning this is not inconsequential, it's just the battle itself is pretty, you know, dull and pointless. If these guys had any brains, they would have surrendered. Quite honestly. Our soldiers have captured the wall! Good. Now is the time to press on and capture this place. Oh dear. You stupid horse archers were too late. Maybe you can shoot them from over the walls or something? I don't know. Also, it suddenly became foggy. Do not question it. I don't know. They're pretty much useless in this battle anyway, so... This kind of concerns me a bit, though, because it... Yeah... Wait, for heaven's sake, 
Slow down. We're now going to have to deal with these guys, even if they are exhausted, using only our Pedites, who, are, you know, in all fairness, are not much of a match. Can you guys hurry up, please? We need to get moving. Big time. Are you guys fully formed up? Yeah, you are, right. Okay, well, that's good. You can move now. Are the rest of you finish getting into position? It probably it's probably easier and quicker if you actually do that one at a time uh, instead of sending them all through at once. But I'm lazy, so <laughs> quite frankly, right. Set to throw javelins and march up there within javelin range, and hopefully we'll fill them with full of spears before we actually have to get into combat. Hopefully. Note the lack of optimism in my voice. And also, whoa, let's slow down. Slow down, yeah, because I've just noticed these guys apparently seem intent on turning themselves into an easy target, so uh, I shall seize upon that. Go do your thing, Alans, even if you are. Wow, you're fresh. Apparently, you've been standing around just for that long, getting your breath back. Um, okay. You can go reinforce up there. You two can go around the side there, and you guys can just move up in general. So I can send you around whichever way I need to go. And are you really not in javelin range? That's irritating. Move a bit closer then. And you know what? Run. Let's not mince about here. Let's actually do this sometime today, you know? Because yeah, if we're in a city and therefore the pathfinding goes all kinds of weird. So, are you guys going to throw some spears for me now? Please, 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 please throw your spears. Like, what are you doing, honestly? I told you to run and you're not running. Gah. You're not going to do it, are you? Yeah, yeah, you're not in range. Damn it! How is it the Dimba can throw their spears half a mile and these guys have to see the, the whites of their eyes before they can actually chuck something? Whatever. You're under attack? What from? Oh, wait, that was the Saxons saying they're under attack. Well, that's certainly having the desired effect. Good. Kill them. What are you doing? Shuffling back like that. Yeah, stop it. And you're continuing to kill more dudes. Awesome. Killing dudes is what I pay you for, after all. You guys get over there. You guys just hurry up. You... What are you even doing? What are you doing? I don't know, just move over there. I'm really kind of bothered about those guys, but yeah, whatever. What can you do? Oh, you idiots! Get away from the walls! How many of them have we lost now? Like, there's, I bet there's a whole bunch of them. Oh, okay, mercifully we didn't lose too many of them, but that, oh, that's just irritating. At least we shot a few of them. Yeah, they're running that way for some reason. <laughs> um, you know what? You could be some seriously sneaky bastards and go to stand in the square there. Could capture the square while they're not technically speaking in it. Then you can go around behind them and then shoot them with javelins. You guys can fire at will, just cause. The gods be praised! Not sure if they even will, but yeah. Ah, oh, they are routing. How do you? Throw some javelins for me, come on. Or don't. 
future or you know alternatively just run around like ninnies just the slaughter them awesome that's two of them Harry Ulfus and Rigard Captain Rigard that's pretty sweet especially the, the Harry Ulfus guy because he was a uh, a family member so it's one less family member that the Saxons will have going for them. And if we can somehow manage to kill all their family members, they'll cease to exist as a faction, hopefully. Which would uh, be pretty awesome, really. In all fairness. He's the last one, come on. Come on. There's one guy, guys, come on. Thank you. Wait, no, he's not dead? Seriously? There we go. Phew. Oh, come on, really? Oh, fucking hell, fine. I thought it was all over then. Apparently not. These numbskulls decided to join in just at the right moment. And I turn the sound effects off again. Should, well, you know what, I was about to say I should really rebind that, but you can't, because this is an ancient Total War game and therefore... No. Convenience is like re remapping keyboard buttons? No! You must be mad, sir. See if we can take him out with some javelins. Save a few headaches and some time, because this episode is probably running over as well. We're at 16 minutes now, so we're within acceptable boundaries as far as I'm concerned, but still. I wish these guys would just hurry up and die, honestly. Um, you're not in guard mode, so stop shuffling around like you are, thank you. Thank god these guys were exhausted, otherwise they would have put a serious fight. Thank you. This is a heroic victory, worthy of Roman arms. Well, at least we didn't lose too many guys. How many was that in total? Um, 40, 50, something like that. 50, between 50 and 60 men. We healed a few. Yeah, whatever. Did we gain an experience? No. Never mind. Mission accomplished. Victory! Exterminate. Exterminate's a bit strong, really. I think in some mods they actually replaced Exterminate with Sack, which is uh, a little more realistic, really. Because that's what we're doing. We're sacking the city. Oh, unfortunately, Atelges is alive still. Just him. Soldiers won. Probably shouldn't have ended the battle, then. I should, probably should have made a point of killing him, but never mind. Um... Well, there we go. Vicar Sex Zone is conquered and destroyed and let's destroy everything. There we go. Meeting Hall. Dead. Market. Dead. Cess Pit. Dead. Well, Blacksmith. Dead. Shipwright. Dead. Mural Farming. Oh, we can't. Apparently. Literally or figuratively so salt in their fields. Um, Sacred Grove of Ol. Not anymore. Tavern. Nope. Tax rate very high. Wonder bonus. Oh, that's from Stonehenge. <laughs> um, right. Good. Excellent. We can't leave. Oh dear. That's not good. I was kind of hoping we'd be able to leave right about now. But we could if we left the ballista behind. Oh dear. Right, you guys head to that river bit there because it's closer. Can we get you to... Come on. Cancel those. Oh, for heaven's sake. I right, know, I don't particularly feel like leaving my ballista behind just, just yet, so... Oh dear. It looks like we might find ourselves under siege, ironically. Um, that's a Hunnic diplomat, apparently. Randomly stood around there for some reason. Ooh, bollocks. Well... Never mind. We've made some progress. We subjugated the 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 tribe of Saxons region, um, but unfortunately, our plan has backfired slightly because we didn't have enough movement points to get in and get out in the same turn. 
So God knows what that what what, what that's going to mean for the next turn. But anyway, until then, bye bye.